just wanted to share something really quick, which I'm surprised. You know, there's there's a lot of things that go on in the Philippines that that often people will say, oh, that's kind of kind of backwards. Why don't they do it differently? Whatever. I wanted to point out something that I'm surprised is done more efficiently here in the Philippines um, than back in the United States, and it's hot water. Now, here I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Now this is uh, well, that's my bedroom there. Um, this is my CR, my restroom, and uh, right up here you'll notice this unit. Now this is for my hot water. There is no giant um, water tank. And back home in the United States, we're still using these 20, 30, 40 gallon uh, water tanks that are heated up with, with gas. Um, I mean, it's kind of primeval when you think about it, but basically there's 24 hours a day that pilot is going on constantly heating and maintaining hot water um, you know whether it's being used or not the house could be vacant for four to four months even if nobody uses that hot water the water is continually cooling and being reheated over and over and over again well here in the Philippines um, I didn't have hot water till I came here other than if I was staying at a hotel or something um, when I was over in Bohol for a year, it was just cold water coming out of a, a spigot, and then I had a, a basin, and for about a year, that's all I used. I just, kind of like the Old West, you know, just a big ladle and a basin, and it's actually kind of fun and very refreshing when all you have is cold water and it's a really hot day. But in the evenings, it is kind of nice to have some hot water. So I moved here to Dumaguete, and then here's this unit. So I'm thinking, oh cool, now I've got hot water. Let me come out here because the uh, audio might be kind of bizarre. But anyways, um, so I'm thinking, well cool, now I've got myself um, some hot water. Well, I go to use the unit and I love everything about the apartment, but the unit doesn't work. And I played with all the buttons and everything and, and finally I just gave up on it and figured, well, all things considered, I got a great apartment. Um, I didn't want to really bug the landlord because I'm in and out. I didn't want to be sitting around all day waiting for repair guys to show up. So I just figured I'll deal with it later. Well, anyways, the good news is um, one day I was sitting here in my little office and, you know, I'm just kind of sitting here and just kind of enjoying the, you know, the view out the window, uh, watching the moo cow do his thing. And... Then I look over here and I notice, oh, there's a breaker here. Now there's a breaker box downstairs and I played with that trying to fix this water thing to no avail. And so then I, I look at this and I look closer and it was in the off position, you know, because the apartment had been empty for a while. So I flip it to the on, you know, location. I come back here and bingo, you know, the thing, the thing works. Uh, in fact, here, let me, uh, yeah, see, as soon as you turn on the water, if you'll notice right up here at the top, there's a little red light. Okay, now that I'm doing it, now it's not turning on. Uh, let's see. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See, there's a little light that goes on and it turns on automatically. So when I turn the water off, the little light goes out. So essentially what you have is hot water on demand. There is no big tank being heated up 24 hours a day. When you need hot water, you get hot water and it only heats it as you need it. I mean the, you know, it's like it takes maybe five seconds and I guess it's got a little radiator there with some heat coils and just heats it up as you need it. And it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know why we're not using that more often in the United States. Um, maybe it's just force of habit, I don't know. There are companies that do provide these kind of hot water on demand units in the United States. But by and large, I think if you were to go home to home, uh, the vast majority of people just aren't using them. Um, I don't know why, it's, it's a cool idea. Um, so anyways, now electricity is in general a little bit expensive here in the Philippines. But especially for a single guy like me, um, you know, my, my electric bill per month is about, let me see, it's about 30 bucks a month. 
you know, and that's counting my computers, my fans, which I normally run 24 hours a day, and my refrigerator. That's my main electrical need here. Oh, my hot plate to cook. Um, so, including my hot water, 30 bucks a month to have hot water has been a really nice little luxury. And believe it or not, I was living here for five months uh, with cold water before I realized this whole breaker issue. So I've been pretty happy. Now for the last month, I've had nice hot water anytime I want it. And, and it'll actually crank up. I, I have it set kind of low. Um, it'll actually crank that water so hot, you know, it'll burn you. I mean, you just don't want to get in it that hot. You could like make soup out of that water, it's so hot. So it, it does work, it, it works very efficiently. Um, now I just know where to keep it so that I got, you know, nice temperature for, for bathing. So anyways, um, just something I thought I'd share with you. Again, it just seems kind of funny that, uh, you know, when it comes to hot water, uh, for the people that have it with the on, on, you know, on demand hot water thing here, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty neat way to go. So anyways, that's my little uh, tip for today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.